So uh, let's do some Shark Tank here. Uh, I'd like to welcome uh, the founder of Talent 2 International and Shark with Shark Tank Australia, Andrew Banks. <laughs> hello, hello. So nice to meet you. So uh, let's just do a couple of minutes here because I think everybody understands what Shark Tank's about. All right, we've got two Edison Award finalists uh, who are going to pitch their companies to Andrew Banks. And we're going to begin with Backspin T. Who are the representatives from uh, Backspin T? They're out there. They They're out come there. On. Yeah. All right. Backspin T, take the floor. I've got name. My, uh, my name is Taylor Gardner. And your colleague? My name is Jarrett Gardner. All right, go for it, guys. We are in the sporting goods industry. The baseball batting tee has not changed in over 100 years. Majority of you guys, if you've never seen baseball, it's the most widely used training device in the world. All ages, from Major League Baseball down to T-ball, high school, college, they all use training tools, and the tee is the number one training tool out there. You use it to do muscle memory, eye-hand coordination. You're talking about elite athletes at the highest levels that get paid, and they want to make sure everything is in sync on time. And the baseball tee has not changed, again, in over 100 years. So what we are actually seeing is you put the ball on top of the tee, and you hit the ball. Well, conditioning your eyes to not hit the tee has been the big focal point of our controversy. We see the flaw in a normal baseball tee because what you are seeing is the top half of the ball. And by hitting the top half of the ball, you're going to get more top spin ground balls. And pitchers want more ground balls. Statistically, in the major leagues, that you actually have more success getting ground balls. The, the win percentage, the, the, your ERA, your, your numbers, and when you get to the elite levels, you get to keep your job if you put up good numbers. So what we've done is actually invert the tee so you hit a better part of the ball. You get more line drives. You hit the ball in the outfield more. You get better angles. And along with the exit speeds, you get better results. When you talk about singles, doubles, triples, all home runs are in the air. And so what we've actually done is we've done testing on these and hitting the bottom half of the ball, we've taken them to hitting performance lab. We took it to the Major League Baseball, and all the results we're getting is just outstanding. They're, they, they're having more and more successes. We've been, in, uh, we've been open for 12 months. We're in over half of the Major League teams right now in, in America. We're at uh, 60 Division I colleges. It's starting to trickle down to the high school and the little leagues because we are not only changing the game, we're changing the perception of how you train, and that's – why we're here at the Edison Awards. We are changing baseball. This is the future of baseball training. The slow motion science that, that the HD cameras are allowed to capture nowadays, the video, I mean, it, it's changing how the game's being played, how it's being taught, what instruction there is, how at the elite athletes are training. We have the best tee on the market. There's bar none. We, we took it to the highest levels. They accept it. They understand it. Some of the lower levels may not. I don't know. We, we haven't gone to, to, to those realms just yet. But the high-level baseball players in the world understand what this team means. And at that level, it means keeping your job, putting up better numbers, elongating your career. I'll go ahead and hit one here for you guys to uh, get the ball rolling. As you can guys see uh, how stable the tee is, it didn't move at all. And that's something that uh, we wanted to conquer, uh, not only with changing the perception of what a batting tee should be, but also um, how hitters train at it. So if you hit the right part of the ball that, that we just did, the tee doesn't move. That's a positive feedback. So when you're training and you hit the right part of the ball, you want to feel good about it. The problem with a normal tee, as Jarrett showed you, is that if you hit the bottom half of a ball in a normal tee with an underneath, you're going to hit that cone. You're going to knock your tee over. It's not going to last very long. All right, time's okay. up, guys. Gentlemen, so um, do you have a patent on this? Yes, sir, we do. That's good. That's healthy. 
And um, how long have you been going? Uh, 12 months, just over 12 months, actually. Okay. And how many have you sold? We have sold close to 1,000. 1,000, right. Okay. What does it cost you to make? Uh, the standard model to your right costs $61 to make, and the pro model here to your left costs 72 And you sell it for? Three forty nine for the pro model, right? One ninety nine for the standard. Okay. And are you uh, funded at the moment? I mean, we are. We are, are uh, out of debt. Out Thank of goodness. Debt. You're out of debt. So you got more debt than equity. You still own the business? <laughs> we do. And what got you into this? What you, you're passionate about the game, I guess, or are you just to, have you invented other things like this? To be honest with you, um, being the younger brother of a professional coach here, um, I actually overheard him talking to other coaches. You right. know that. Pitching coaches don't mind if, if a hitter hits the top of the ball. It's an out. Right. But then we started hearing hitting coaches talking about, well, I kind of want you to hit the top of the ball so you don't break our tees. Right. Well, there's a fundamental problem there. So, so we wanted to your make... passion for the game. Right? Absolutely. Is this the only product you've got at the moment? Yes, it is. In the space, right. So how are you going to sell it? So far, social media has been 95% uh, of our sales and direct sales as well. Uh, through our website. So by social media, are you using people to promote it or are you using Google Words and, and spending online dollars to get an online We online use one return? source and it's called Facebook. All right. Okay. So um, question, why, why wouldn't you do a license deal with a Franklin's or a big a company that's already talking to all the customers? Um, is quite, there a reason why you wanted to do it yourself? or? Quite frankly, it just hasn't come up yet. Right. Uh, that's why we're here. That right. uh, your sporting license experiences might uh, add to that. Sure. Okay. So, and what do you both do in the business um, apart from hit baseballs and entertain us all? So. <laughs> <laughs> um, Who does what? I run our shop. You run uh, the shop. Run the shop, and uh, and most of our social media. And, and Jared here has all the connections we could ever dream of to the major league world, and he's been able to get us into many doors right. and uh, open open those up for us, which. Uh, well, opens the door for more comp or more communication, okay. which has led to our sales so far. And when you say shop, you mean where you make them? Oh, well, we still make them in, in yeah. Oklahoma City. You may still make them. So lo locally made, right? Yes, sir. Um, if you had an order of 5,000, could how long would it take you to fill it? Close to eight weeks. Right. Okay. So, okay. Interesting. As a news guy, it occurs to me that you're suggesting that the... Uh, the old style key, the, the uh, standard key, is in fact the result of a conspiracy of pitchers to produce more ground balls. <laughs> if that's the case, I'm running with that story. <laughs> is, is, that, is that possibly the case? Uh, pitching, pitching coaches, pitchers, we, we always like the hitters doing tee work <laughs> beforehand because they, they're practicing the ground balls. And the more they hit off the the normal tee, and it, it's nothing more than human laziness to be able to put it on the tee and just let gravity take effect. But uh, yeah, it, it's uh, pitcher's best friend are the ground balls, the double plays, and uh, you know it, it's I, 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 I like that story. <laughs> How are those balls held in there? What's what's keeping them in there? What do you think it is? Well, when I was out there, I was thinking it was some sort of vacuum cleaner kind of suction deal. But uh, now, now I'm thinking Velcro friction. or just friction. Yeah, just, just the, friction. It's friction. just the it's just the plastic. Whenever yeah. you turn the ball in, it actually you have control of squeezing that rubber down yeah. onto the ball itself. Yeah. That's how uh, we're getting such long durability. Is we're not wearing out the cones, stretching this. We're not stretching it out or anything. Um, right. You're actually tightening the cone down yourself. And it doesn't it doesn't wear out. <laughs> it has not been a problem in, in the first twelve months. Anything else? I th look, no, I mean, I think uh, that, you know, 17 million people, one way or another, are involved in playing the game. Um, I agree it's new technology that hasn't been around for 100 years. There's a, there's a similar product that someone in Australia invented, a mum, actually, for cricket. Uh, and uh, she made a fortune out of uh, a cricket mat that showed kids how to place their feet. Well, let's go. Um, <laughs> I, my, I think... Uh, my suggestion would be, unless this is something you both passionately want to do for a living long term, uh, I would be seeking out a license deal, though, because I think it'll take you too long and it'll be too expensive for you to get to the market because you've got to get to teams, also softball teams. Every community could have one of these, but that's a long ass. You need to deal with a, a middle a distributor. Take your piece of the action on a license deal. And uh, as an investor or a potential investor, that's what I'd be doing, introducing you to Franklin's or I know the family, uh, it's a great private company um, in America, that, uh, but something like that. 
And I think you know, that would jumpstart your business. And, uh, and then you can use the royalties to invent the next thing. That sounds like a good plan to me. One, yeah. uh, one question about the name, Backspin Tea. It does sound like a, a drink. I mean, have you considered something a little well, more, a little more uh, engaging, it's, like it's uh, only... Hitter's Revenge? <laughs> <laughs> Hitter's Revenge tea. Yeah. Might be having a few of those tonight at the bar. <laughs> um, backspin is, a, is the preferred result. When you hit the bottom half of a ball, you are guaranteed to have backspin on it. Mm. And so not only are you getting a higher launch angle off the bat, which helps the ball carry further, but the, every hitting coach we talked to wants backspin. On the see, see, he was right. That's too technical. <laughs> <laughs> but, but what you're saying, the aficionados understand that, yeah. but maybe not the lower level sort of yeah. playground gang. Yeah. Uh, I, mean, you know, I guarantee you six-year-olds understand hitter's revenge. Yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> or, or just hit baseball further. Yeah, yeah. 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 Anyway. Or just awesome hit. Well done, something. guys. Thanks Thank for you. changing Appreciate the history. It. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, well done. Yeah, thanks. Great. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs>